presentation. I hope you all had a great week. Thanksgiving break is next week, so I hope you all enjoy Thanksgiving with your family and friends. I'd also like to say that everyone did a great job on the Thanksgiving canned food drive. Remember to be thankful, and now please place yourselves in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, God, for this day in my school to work and pray. Please be with the school all day long in every story, game, and song. May all the happy things we do make you, our Lord, happy too. Please face the cross and place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Salute. I pledge allegiance to the cross of Christ and to the church for which it stands, one holy and apostolic church with grace and salvation for all. Now face the flag and place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, good morning. I have the jokes for the day. What do you call a running turkey? Fast food. What side of the turkey has the most feathers? The outside. Why didn't the turkey eat dinner? He was already stuffed. What's the turkey's favorite dessert? Peach gobbler. Hey, presentation and for today, today's art corner, we'll be drawing the, a turkey. Okay, so all you need is a pen. And it's basically just like four steps. The first step is put your hand and outline your hand. Just outline it with your hand. It's the easiest way to make a turkey. Okay, when you're done, you're, we're going to draw head. Uh, my hair is bad, but you could do whatever you want for the head, like you could draw it on here. Actually, it's better. I'm going to draw it on here. It's the easiest. And then draw the head and then draw the, draw the feet. And then you're basically done. If you want to add some like feathers, if you want to add some feathers, you can, like how I'm doing. But yeah, you could do this anytime, so. Uh, this is just an easy one for this art corner. So. I'm just gonna finish my, and then you could do like a background. You could have like some leaves falling down. You could do like a lot of stuff, but yeah. So this is what you should end up with. It's a really easy step. And you can do this whenever you want. So, see you next time. Bye. Today is National Monopoly Day. Monopoly is a board game that was made on December 31st, 1935 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Between 1940 and 1960, Monopoly was voted the number one game in America. To play Monopoly, you must have at least two players, but I think it's more fun with four. There's many different kinds of monopolies. Some examples are the original, the 80th anniversary edition, the cheaters edition, and so many others. Whenever I play, me and my brother always fight over who gets to be the banker, so I recommend calling dibs. If you're bored, grab some friend and your monopoly board and your monopoly game board and have some fun. Have a good day, presentation.
morning presentation, I'm going to give you some COVID reminders. Please remember to stay six feet apart, wear your mask at all times, and wash your hands before and after eating. If you're feeling sick, please stay at home. Thank you and stay safe. Good morning. You're here with your VP on Coffee Talk. We talking coffee, we're talking art, we're talking Friendsgiving. Because, P.S., long story short, I have a friend came all the way from Russia to be with you here today. Okay, so let's give a warm welcome, all my friends out there. Yes, I see you. Yes, I see you. All my friends out there, let's give a warm welcome to my friend from Russia, Yoskov. Hello, and guess what? I see you too. Yes, we see all of you friends out there. Good morning. Good morning. Enjoy your coffee. It's oh, delicious. It is delicious. Mm, we we love, love coffee. Mm, indeed. You know, in Homeland, in Russia, we don't have coffee mugs. Oh. We just hold coffee in bare hand to make us strong, like oh. Russian turnip. Oh, yes. Very strong. That sounds awful, but I believe it. Okay, well, let's get right to it. I invited my friend from Russia, first of all, because we're going to have a Friendsgiving. You, you know, Friendsgiving's amazing. We get together, and we have our, eat our meal, and we sit, and we talk, obviously, about coffee. Coffee. Obviously. Welcome to Space Needles. Yes. So we're going to have our Friendsgiving, and it's just a really special time for us, and it actually makes me very emotional that he came all the way from Russia for our Friendsgiving. Just a minute. Why are Americans so emotional? Well, hold on. I'm getting a little verklempt here. So while I take a moment, I'll give you a topic. Thanksgiving is neither or could be both thanks or lots of giving. Discuss. Lots of discussions. Okay. Well, I'm okay now. Okay. Here we go. Back to why we started. We're starting to talk about Wesley Kadinsky. That's right. He is your artist of the month of November. And we got our very special guest. He knows all about Wesley. So I'm going to ask him a few questions and see what he knows. Okay, Yoskov. So can you please tell me a little bit about Wesley Kadinsky? Well, Wesley Kadinsky was born in 1866 in Moscow, Russia. Ironically, that is where my uncle Yoskev got slapped by a bear. He enjoyed listening to music and learned to play the piano and the cello. Oh. He went to college to become a law teacher, much like my great-grandpa, who also got slapped by a bear. But at 30 years, decided to change careers and become an artist. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Can you believe it? A lawyer all the way to a painter. Dark. How wonderful. So he must have had a lot of influences. Can you tell us a little bit about what influenced his art? Well, Kadinsky's first art pieces were influenced by Impressionism, mm. Pointillism, and Faviism, like the Blue Rider painted in 1903. Later, his work was influenced by abstract art, like yellow, red, and blue, and color study. I have those art pieces right here. Look, yellow, red, and blue. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, beautiful. beautiful. It's like butter. Mm. Oh, and then butter. the art study. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, color study. Color study. Color study. Color study. Okay, I love all the circles. Mm. Can you tell me a little bit about the dot situation here? Well, Wesley Kadinsky loved the dot. And even once said, everything starts with a dot. That's amazing. I can't believe, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Every piece of art, you got to dot the paper first. All right. It looks like target signs. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, well, what else do we know about Mr. Wesley? His love for music also influenced his art. Most of his paintings were named after musical works or songs. Mm -hmm. And he would even call his paintings compositions, much like, you know, an orchestra. He named only 10 paintings this way, though. 
Oh, so he only really loved 10 of his paintings, and he probably painted millions. That's so amazing. Okay, well, hmm, he has lovely art. Can you tell me, you know, if I was a wealthy girl, how much would I have to pay for one of Mr. Kadinsky's art pieces nowadays? Hmm. Well, let me tell you, it would be a weight worth of 10 bears. But in 2012, Wesley Kandinsky's 1909 painting called A Study Fur and Impressionism was sold for 23 million U.S. dollars. Not Monopoly monies, not rupees, but U.S. dollars. Not even talking Russian money. Oh, mm. my goodness. 23 million dollars. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy that's talk. Crazy Don't talk. you think so? Duh. Well, I loved having my guests here. We're going to go have some friends given. I'm going to need to zhuzh him up a little bit before we meet my friends, <laughs> obviously. So This is good, strong Russian profile. How dare you try to zhuzh me anything? Well, we will be zhuzhing. So we're going to go zhuzh, and we're going to go have our Thanksgiving together as friends. We'll be drinking coffee thinking about you, and we just like to say happy Thanksgiving and get out there and go paint like Kadinsky. All right, see you later. It's your VP saying bye-bye. Goodbye.